All right, so I'm back with um, the press log for November 16th, 2022. Well, let me call it exactly what it is. Police daily activity log posted on November 16th. Okay, so this is a couple of days after that tragedy. Um, there, I wanted to come back to this as well because um, on the 17th, um, there was something regarding an Instagram um post that I wanted to get to. So let's just go through these. I'm not going to go through all, I'm going to go through them, but anything that says traffic, I'm not going to read thoroughly uh, through, you get what I mean. So, um, so there was a welfare check. Now this all makes sense because this is after, um, this is after this whole situation transpires on the 13th, right? The massacre. All right. So there was a welfare, welfare check, um, on Boyd Avenue on the 400 block. Um, Reporting person requesting a welfare check. She doesn't sound like she is doing well mentally. Officers responded, no report. Found property. Somebody found a fanny pack at a bar. A East 6 in John's Alley. Found property again. A wallet found. Okay, well, that, that, that's what's up. That They returned property out there. Okay. Cards and ID. Rayburn and Science Building. So that sounds like it's on the, the on a campus, okay? On a college campus. Parking problem. All right. Let's see. Controlled substance problem. I'm mean, always trying to get somebody for some smoking some bud. Um, welfare check. 1200 Creekside Lane. Reporting person requesting a welfare check on a subject. No report. Another welfare check. 1600 Levick Street. Again, that is definitely on university property, University of Idaho. Well, at least when you look at the map, that's what it shows. Welfare check on person whose mail is piling up outside. Well, you know what? If they're anything like me, <laughs> that just means they don't want their damn mail. But nah, I hope that person was okay. All jokes aside. Traffic violation, okay. That's nothing, you know. I mean, that's not saying it's nothing, but you know. Mm, that's bound to happen in college town. Malicious mischief. East 5th Street, Moscow High School. Okay, graffiti. Nothing to see there. Uh, suspicious person. There's a lot of this in this town. Um even prior to the 13th of November. 3rd Street and Jackson Street, last Wednesday around, um, what is that, 8 p.m.? So 2015 um, in uh, military time, a vehicle followed the reporting person and then blocked the reporting person into the parking lot for a couple of minutes. Reporting person never saw the people in the vehicle. That is so scary. I mean, they literally blocked her off 3rd and Jackson. I don't know. I don't know exactly what would be there at 3rd and Jackson. Suspicious person or oh, circumstance, 2300 block of White Ave. There is a male that has shown up to a um, reporting person's par apartment multiple times saying that he works for Zipline. Zip Officers responded, no report. Sunset Drive and Residence, suspicious person. There is a vehicle that is sitting at the end by the pump house. Yeah, weird. Another suspicious person. So what time was that? That was at 6.36, right? Another suspicious person. ED Street. I don't know what they mean when they do that because they have something called, I don't, I don't know. I'm not even going to try to figure that out. ED Street. Complaint of suspicious vehicle that has been in the area a long time. So this is a few minutes after this one at sunset, right? All right. Weapon offense. Okay. That's a husband and wife doing their thing. Interesting, though. 1400 block of WA Street. I don't know what that means exactly. Um, we'll, we can check out that address in a moment. Um, showing, to how, showing her how to protect herself with a gun and it accidentally went off. Um, maybe they should go to the range instead. Harassment, West Pullman and Buffalo Wild Wings. Okay. Mel keeps calling and whispering, low voice, and he has been warned to stop calling. Yeah, I would be concerned with that because if there is somebody on the loose, which obviously there is, right? 
um, the young ladies that work at Buffalo Wild Wings should probably um, call it quits for now or have some kind of, um, I, I mean, me, I would call it quits or have some kind of protection, meaning like somebody picking them up from work or whatever. But you just never know because people are strange and maybe that'll up the ante for them. It's just weird. Um, so suspicious, it's sick, not weird. It's sick. Suspicious person circumstance, 1100 block of North Polk street. Um, 2100 hours. Right. So that is the evening of, we are on the 16th of November. Uh, reporting person's apartment is leaking water into the apartment. Believe her is beneath her is somebody banging on door. Officers responded. No report. You know, I've learned my lesson on opening the door, even for um, a landlord. I was actually attacked one time because something was leaking from my apartment. And the person, the, the, the landlord's, one of the landlord's children came upstairs and literally um, attacked me. So I don't, I don't answer my door for anyone. I'm very funny about that. I don't care who it is. If you didn't call, I'm not answering. Um, that is it and that is all. So there's that. Disabled vehicle. All right. Uh, harassment. 1500 Levick Street. Reporting person. Ongoing issue with ex-roommate. Okay. Uh, suspicious person. Circumstance. 1400 block. WA Street. Um, what is that? 1044. In the evening, got DM on Instagram from somebody she doesn't know. Sent a message, be safe out, out here, out there. Language barrier, officer advised. Oh, wow. Suspe so it's on the 16th, not the 17th. So I saw this. This was the Instagram message I was talking about. Um, and then suspicious person or circumstance, 700 block up Elm Street. That's at 11.52. PM car parked outside for 30 minutes with the lights on. Officer responded. All right. So there's that for November 16, 2022.